Animate Project 1 Corvette Artwork, Stage 1, Setting Up the Workspace. We're going to create a new document. Make sure that you have your WIP folder with VET and your Corvette JPEG is in there ready for you to use. We're going to set up a new document and by doing that you can use the Start menu at the beginning and you're simply going to create a new Action Script 3. Don't use these down here, that's not what we're doing. We're using this one. Accept the defaults on it, it's just fine. If you choose to set the file up from File, New, you'll use the same thing, Action Script 3, and accept the defaults. We are using pixels, so that's not a problem. Everything that you do for web should be set up by pixels. Save your new file as, put it in your VET folder, and you're going to call this Corvette. It is going to be an FLA, say save, and you are good to go. Next, we're going to import our file and put it on the stage. So go to File, Import, Import to Stage, and select the Corvette, open, and it's going to place it where we want it. Now, notice that the Properties panel is going to give you that this is a bitmapped image. It is one instance of Corvette JPEG. It is positioned all the way on the left side of the screen, and the Y position it's down 5, so it's centered on the stage. It is 800 pixels wide by 390 pixels tall. Our image is a lot larger than what our document is. We're going to pick up our selection tool, click off to the side to make sure that nothing is selected. I'm going to center this on my screen a little better. And then we are going to change the properties of our document because we are wanting to draw the car and we want it to stay the size that it is. We don't want to make it smaller so we're going to make sure nothing is selected so we can change the properties of the document. You can do a scrubby slider to change the width field to 850. If that gets a little too boring just type it in. You're going to change the height as well to 450 pixels and make sure that you press enter to finalize that. If your entire stage does no longer fit on your document window, go to fit in window in the view percentage menu. Next we're going to open our align panel and click Align to Stage. Make sure that's selected. Select the sketch and in the Align panel we're going to horizontally and vertically align to center it. Now you can deselect Align to Stage and this is a good place to save your file. Take a look at your timeline. Our layers are listed on the side just like they are in After Effects and of course they're going to be affected by the stacking order. We're going to rename the layer Sketch. So double click it and change the name and next we're going to add a new layer. Rename that new layer Window. Repeat that and create new layers called Body, Wheels, Door, and Accents. Now lock your sketch layer by clicking the small dot below the lock icon. Save again and you're ready for the next stage.